Let's explore the SLA creation capabilities of CA Workload Automation iDash. Begin by clicking Catalog and selecting SLA Management. Find your job by typing into the search field and filtering the results using job properties. iDash retrieves jobs from multiple instances across CA7 and Autosys, and only displays jobs for which you have authorization privileges. If you need more information about a job, select Run History to help you decide on your SLA deadlines. Now, select your job and click Create SLA. Here you'll name your SLA, specify a time zone, and enter an optional description. For Autosys job flows, you can either choose a run calendar or days of the week you want the SLA to be monitored. You can optionally choose an exclude calendar. If it's a CA7 job, you can choose the CA7 schedule ID it will run on, or the triggering job and its schedule ID, or days of the week and the SLA job schedule ID. You can select one or more time deadlines, and for each, specify the type, start and end tracking, at-risk warning, run validity, and past hours. You can also choose the statuses for which you'd like to raise alerts. Once you've selected your parameters, click Create SLA. iDash will start tracking this SLA once it falls within the forecast window. Now let's go over tags, which you can use to group SLAs and monitor on the dashboard. Start by clicking Catalog in the top navigation and selecting Tag Management. Here you can create tags and optionally nest them to represent a hierarchy. Once created, SLAs can be associated to relevant tags. You also have the option of associating SLAs to multiple tags, for example, if they cross business units or verticals. Now that you've set up and tagged your SLAs, monitoring users can customize their watch lists by picking the tags they want featured on their dashboard. Be sure to view additional videos on how to monitor SLAs and generate reports with iDash.